Hey guys, um, Aaron, Daniel, back here again. Um, we're here to respond about a question about the ACD program. Um, so again, kind of similar to our previous videos, um, I guess maybe just a place to start with is like, what's your experience with the ACD program? Yeah, so um, I came into UW really knowing that I wanted to um, build experiences where people kind of like understand things better. Um, and so I ended up writing a lot of my application essays about um, educational games. Um, and then I found this major called Film Center Design and Engineering, which was pretty awesome. Um, it's basically how do you make products and experiences that um, people will actually like enjoy using, like to use, and, and it'll meet their, meet their needs. Um, and so I applied to this major called HCDE. Um, I initially got rejected, um, but then the second time I applied, I got in. Um, and it was a really awesome experience. Um, I was in it for a couple quarters, three quarters. Um, and and, and um, I, I think I met a lot of awesome people and I met, I did some pretty awesome projects, learned a lot, um, but then ultimately decided that I wanted to graduate in four years. And so I had to choose between HCDE and computer science. Um, and I think the big thing for me was that, maybe we can talk about this more, but HCD has a lot of open-ended projects where the classes are meant as kind of a springboard um, for you to go off on your own and work on stuff. Whereas computer science I found was very structured. Uh, it really filled your time. Um, and I thought that due to my learning style that I would succeed more in that kind of learning environment. And so that's why I picked computer science, but I, I just really enjoyed HCD. And if I could have stayed for five years, I think I would have done both. Okay. Yeah, so I guess what were like, in your year with uh, ACD, like, what were some of the classes or like, the projects that you enjoyed the most about? Yeah, so I think uh, there were definitely, there was there were a couple classes. So one was um, this class, I believe HCD 318, where you go through an entire design process from um, having just a problem statement to um, the concept, to coming up with prototypes, to understanding your users before that and the prototype to actually having like a finalized presentation where you show this product that you um, have theoretically built. Um, and so my, and it's a group project, so I, I worked with some amazing um, fellow students uh, who, were, who were much better designed than I was. Um, and, uh, and we basically built a product that um, theoretically would be a wearable that a child could use to um, connect them with their parents. Um, and, and so I got to like design the um, prototype in CAD, and then my, my friends got to um, make, a, make a website for it, and, and then we actually have like a prototype website for that product. Um, yeah, that actually I could, I could link. Um, and, and it was just so cool to see that come to life in one quarter. Um, I think another project um, that I really enjoyed was, there's this one design class, um, HCD, I think 308, and you just um, learn some basic design principles. Um, and then from that, you do like a website redesign. So I got to do one for uh, the Roots Community Center uh, nearby and just kind of try to redesign the website. And um, yeah, the, the redesign is like, okay, like I just, I'm just messing around trying to learn different things. But I think um, the big thing that I enjoyed from that class is that we had critique sessions where you just go through each person's work and you have everyone get around and just be as honest as possible with critique. And I think from there, I learned that, that man, that whatever you work on, like, um, you can you can get critique and 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 that makes your work so much better, um, and so yeah, if that gives you kind of a flavor of like the kind of experiences that you get in your city. Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess maybe um, maybe aside um, from from the project, like what was another attractive part about um, the HCD program? Yeah, I think the probably a huge draw is that it's actually a really small major, um, and so because of that. Like, like we're talking like less than a hundred people per cohort, um, and so you have a very close knit community. Like all the classes that you take, you're taking with the same people. So um, even though I was, so I'm, I was pretty involved with the student group that we were both a part of um, in undergrad. So I didn't have a lot of time to invest in those relationships. But um, even by factor of me having the same classes with a lot of these people, you just built those friendships, um, and these are people that that I added on LinkedIn, um, that, that we, we keep up, we stay in contact with each other, and um, I get to see where they're going in their careers, and, and it's pretty awesome. I think 
Um, and, and also I know that they had all sorts of events that, that they would, they, you kind of just get a friend group, you know, by being in this major, you have a lot of people who are like-minded to you, who want to do amazing things with human-centered design. Um, and, and yeah, I, th I think that, that networking was awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, I was just really inspired by that. Um, I almost wish that I could have gotten more involved with that in my undergrad. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I guess is there anything, anything else that you haven't touched on that you know could really help you know someone I guess just really take um, you know, just full advantage of the HEE program? Yeah, I think the only thing I would say is you kind of have to know yourself if you want to go into HCE. So I think that uh, from my experience, a lot of my classmates said similar things that the the workload for HCE isn't super intense compared to other majors. Um, and I think that that's for, on purpose. They have a lot of amazing research in the major. And so um, there's the opportunity to really get involved and to do amazing things by applying yourself. And so if you're the type of person who really thinks, hey, like, um, I'm a go-getter, I'm, I'm able to go out and do my thing and be proactive with my career and, and get things done, then HCD is great for you because it will give you that flexibility but if you're someone who needs a little more structure, who needs someone kind of telling you, hey, this is where you need to be and, and, and kind of checking in on you, um, I would say that you might want to find something a, a bit more structured. I, I think it, the major as it is really does well for, for one kind of person. Um, basically, if you procrastinate, it's going to be hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thanks, Daniel, uh, for your time. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions about you know, Daniel's experience in HCDE um, or other classes, uh, feel free to continue posting them and uh, we will get back to you. Thank you.